name's Adam Novak, and now we can look at some more examples of assigning variables in Python. First, we can make the variable name x equal to 6. So now when we print back x, the value of 6 is stored inside the variable we have called x. We cannot assign it the other way, such as 6 is equal to x. This does not work. In this case, if we print back x, we still store the value of 6 inside of it because we have not reassigned the variable x. We can reassign a value to x such that we make x equal to 2. So now when we print back x, we get 2. x can also now change the type of variable, so now it's equal to 0 0.5. So x is now equal to a floating point. We can also make x equal to a string. So when we print back x, we get well done. Another useful operation is multiple assignment. We can do this in two ways. Let's say they're all equal to the same thing, such as a, b, and c are all equal to 12. When we print back a, b, or c, we get 12. We can reassign a to 14. So a is 14, b is 12, c is still 12. We can also use multiple assignment using commas, using a, b, and c, now equal to 1, 2, and gw. So we print back a, we get 1, b, we get 2, c, we get gw. Remembering this does not work in the opposite way, gw, 2, and 1 cannot be equal to c, b, and a. So in this case, we still have A, B, and C storing their values. X still stores well done. We can delete the values, such that we use delete, then X. So now X, we see that there's a name error. This means that X has not been defined, and there's no value associated with the variable X. We can reassign it, such that X is equal to 5, so now X is 5. We can delete A, B, and C, such that A, B and C are all now deleted, reassigning A, B and C to this lesson is over. Such that we print A, B and C, we get this lesson is over.